Okay, here goes from a non-professional how I did this ring. So this is the ring engraver that I have and I've had for six months plus but I've been too scared to use it. So I will post a link of where I got it from. And next is what I did. So I'm gonna show how I got this I liked this design and made it into this so uh, I guess first of all it would be the settings um, using Lightburn for a rotary there's a few videos online I watched most of them <laughs> to try and figure out what was going on um, finding out bits and pieces and then went with these settings um, my rotary sits on my y-axis at the back so the rotation will be on the x-axis as it's rotating side to side um, I had a play using a dot on the ring and finding out how many steps I could not find anywhere about this particular um, rotary as to how many steps it was for a full 360 rotation. It is actually, from what I found out, 6,400 steps per rotation. Uh, I added the 20 due to the information on the laser everything channel. Uh, it gives it a slight overlap just so you don't get a gap if you're doing a band. Uh, next up, the one that got me was this split setup. I, my first attempt at a ring, this was set to five. So what it was doing is it was engraving uh, five millimeters of the band, then shifting five millimeters in rotation and doing another five millimeters. And this didn't turn out very well. It didn't line up for some other reason, even though, as you'll see, a full band lines up. Um, overlap I changed to zero here is the diameter this is the outer diameter of the ring so my the ring I was using was 24.05 then this will automatically give you the circumference which is going to be over here this is going to be the restriction of uh, the bounding box as to where your design can be other than that, I didn't touch any other settings apart from, I believe, reverse direction and return to stamp, uh, starting point, which um, I don't think is necessary. But the reverse rotation, I think, is necessary with some uh, rotaries, but not all. So it's worth trying it on and off to see what sort of difference you get. Next, I went and got my settings for stainless steel. So I'm just closing my door. Uh, went to get my settings for my stainless steel. This is for black on stainless. So this is speed 50, power 30, frequency 25, Q pulse 200. So it doesn't need to be a MOPA uh, laser to be able to achieve this. Your uh, bog standard fibers can do this. Uh, line in for 0 0.25 and 90 degrees in the lasering angle. So I think that's everything for settings. Next was to get this into this. So, simple as right clicking, trace this image. You can zoom in to see, I mean, it's a bad image, but it does quite well in uh, tracing. So I can move this and now get rid of this. So I liked this design, so what I did was up here I ungrouped all of this so I could get rid of all the designs I didn't want uh, 
I was lucky enough with, I'll regroup that one. I was lucky enough with this one that the design looked pretty good at, I believe it was five, 5.75. So what I have is, you, if you go back to your rotary, 75.555 is the circumference. So what I would do is untick this, the width 75.555. Doesn't look very good, but there is a just under a six millimeter band on the ring that you can engrave. So 5.75. So now it looks better. So if I change this to my fill settings, go back to this one. So we're at the same. What this bounding box is, is the restriction of where I can laser. So it's 75.555 by 5.75 this is the full uh, circumference of the ring and the width of where I can engrave so my engraving is now in black I'll just have a quick look That's because I've got the other one get rid of this So I wasn't sure whether I liked it this way around or I can take my bounding box, change that to my fill settings and it will invert what it engraves or this way around. So it's entirely up to you which way around you want to do it. I eventually did it with this as a tool instead of part of the image so engraved like this um, so that was how I got what I wanted to engrave before that was how to line up the ring on the rotary so all I did was I made a box that was the height by it doesn't there's no set piece I done 10 mil placed in the center and now I done frame so what I was doing with the frame was this box allowed me to center the ring and get it lined up because with me I can't fix the rotary down at the moment I haven't sorted out getting that fixed so I had to line it up each time which was a pain but once you do it a few times it's it's not too bad it's very reflective so it's hard to see the red outline but it is possible so that's how I did it with the box framing it up and then moving the jig and the ring around to get to the center what i did for testing the rotation was to get these figures was i just put the ring in the jig in the rotary put a black dot where the red dot on my laser is when it's not framing and then kept testing different figures here, do a test, see that it goes round, stops in the same place, comes back round, stops in the same place. Uh, and that, that didn't take many tries at all. Uh, just guessing a few, few numbers and I got there in the end. Um, but that's how I got my steps rotation. And then everything was lined up. Everything was set. And I push go and you can see the video of how it went
Thanks for watching.